The Sentencing Council reached its 10th anniversary in 2020, and that seemed like an ideal moment for us to take stock of the Council's considerable achievements to date and ask ourselves, what next? What should the next 10 years look like? And what should our priorities be? It was very important for the Council to look ahead and think about where we should focus our energies so that we can achieve the most with our small resources. The, the sentencing guidelines we produce are, are followed every day by judges and magistrates in every criminal court across England and Wales. They, they play a significant role in the lives of thousands of people, not just those who are being sentenced, but also the victims and witnesses of crime. We need to get the balance right between developing new guidelines, revising existing guidelines, building up the evidence on which the guidelines are based, uh, and fulfilling the Council's many other duties. We wanted our consideration of the Council's future to, to be informed by the same degree of expertise and experience that informs our guidelines. When we develop or revise a sentencing guideline, we always consult the people who work with the guidelines or whose lives may be affected by them. So we called on others involved in the criminal justice system and on the Council's supporters, our critical friends and members of the public, and asked them to tell us where they thought we should focus our energies over the next few years. The outcome of the consultation is that we have identified five strategic objectives to be our main priorities for the next five years. Developing and revising guidelines will continue to be the core of the Council's work. We will build on the evidence that underpins the guidelines and our analysis and research team will work to secure new sources of data. Some of our consultees thought that the Council should take a more active role in making sure sentences are effective. Uh, we will be examining evidence of effectiveness and reviewing whether, uh, and if so how, we should highlight that evidence to sentences. Uh, a further objective is to strengthen public confidence in sentencing, and we've set out some of the ways in which we'll try to achieve this by providing more opportunities for people to find out about sentencing and how it really works. And the Council has also made a commitment consistent with one very strong message we receive from consultees to place equality and diversity at the heart of everything we do. We've published our strategic objectives and the actions we will take to achieve them are on our website. You'll also find there our response to the consultation, which looks at what our consultees told us and sets out the Council's thinking and the rationale behind the strategic objectives we've set ourselves. I would encourage anyone with an interest in sentencing and criminal justice to take a look. <music>